So you are shaped by your brain. You can't do things that your brain won't allow you to do. Um, and you have certain emotional makeups and you have certain emotional history and background that's embodied in the current structure of your brain. And that lays constraints on how you're going to act in the future. But you're right, you can shape your brain. And one of the ways you shape your brain is what you choose to do when you get out of bed in the morning. The fact that you've chosen to be here talking with me today will shape your brain. If you remember anything tomorrow from this conversation today, and if I remember anything tomorrow from this conversation today, it will be because our brains have changed. That long-term memory changes the actual structures of synapses in our brain, and we believe that's the fundamental neural mechanism underlying long-term memory. So synapses are how one neuron communicates with another, and those synapses can be strengthened, and that can contribute to memory, or they can be weakened, and that can contribute to memory. And we know a lot about the molecular events that constitute synaptic strengthening or weakening. So it's an interesting thing, an interesting question you ask, that when you remember something, you really do change the physical structure of your brain. And when you choose to be here interviewing me rather than somewhere else talking to someone else, you though, that choice shapes your brain and it, and it has real implications for what behavior you're capable of in the future. So I'm completely convinced that you shape your brain and your brain shapes you.